Hi, it's Derek Watson again uh, from First Impressions Dental Practice in, uh, in East Kent. So in my last uh, video, I talked about um, dentists running late and now I'm going to talk about patients running late. Now, um, patients running late is a problem, obviously, for a practice, especially a practice that runs on time. If the, pa if the practice is running late and the patient doesn't turn and turns up late, then you may not even notice. And in fact, if you continually run late, then the patients may learn to turn up late because they know they're not going to be seen on time. So it becomes like a self-fulfilling problem. Um, but let's assume that you'll normally run on time and, and at the appointed time the patient hasn't turned up. Now what I tend to do is, we, your, your, um, my approach and most dentists approach I think tends to be dictated very much by what you know about the patient. What is their history? Is this the first time they've turned up late? Are they not generally, uh, are they a genuine person or are they a new patient? Are they, is it likely that, is it the first appointment? Is it likely that they've decided that they don't want to come? They don't want to get out of bed, etc, etc. So um, what we will do is we will give them 10 minutes because we don't want you, you know, you don't want to ring someone up as they're walking through the door and say, where are you? And they're like, I'm only 90 seconds late, you know. So we give them 10 minutes and then we say, look, you know, did you remember you've got a dental appointment today? Now, if um, possible, what we do is we try and get them in the same day and we say that they can avoid a failed appointment charge if they come in at any time during that day that we can fit them in and we can usually fit them in. If they say no, um, you know, I'm decided not to come in or which is very rare or more likely, no, I'm sorry, um, I've been called into work, etc. Then we say to them, look, you know, this is the situation is we can't resell the time. We can't rebook the time at such short notice and therefore someone's going to make a loss. And uh, uh, so we're going to have to charge the loss on to you. Now, the way we do that is that we say that we bear the cost of any loss of any rescheduling right up to one working day before the appointment. So for example, if your appointment's on Wednesday at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, then you can cancel at any time or reschedule up to Tuesday, 10 o'clock in the morning, and we will bear any loss, any, in other words, any failure to rebook the time. However, after, after 20, one working day beforehand, so Tuesday, 10 o'clock, if you need to cancel or reschedule, then we will charge you as if you had attended. And I think on balance, that's pretty fair because we, we, like, it's only the last day we ask you to take any responsibility for. And that's because a large number of people wake up in the morning and they look at their clock and schedule, calendar, whatever, and say, what have I got to do today? Oh my God, I'm going to the dentist. I don't fancy that. I'm going to ring them up and cancel. And so, of course, that is very inefficient for us and very wasteful of our time, which is expensive. And so we don't let people cancel at the last minute, um, by which I mean less than one working day. Now, that does mean that if you are, you know, if you've got an appointment, let's say, um, I don't know, Monday at Monday at nine o'clock, then you need to cancel by Friday at nine o'clock or which is Thursday evening, you know, so it does require a bit of um, uh, forethought. But if we didn't do it that way, then a lot of people would just say, um, sorry, I, you know, uh, I just uh, decided to go shopping instead, you know. Uh, they don't understand that uh, we, we suffer a very real loss when they don't turn up. Now, if a patient is um, uh, constantly failing appointments because they're disorganized, then we don't make them appointments. We just tell them to ring up on the day. So, um, and we call it the VIP service, um, which uh, is a bit of a, a, an odd uh, oxymoron, but uh, basically um, if someone uh, is so disorganized that they can't ever remember they've got an appointment and there are people like that, then we just say, look, if you know, if you want to come in and you know you've got the afternoon off, give us a ring and then if we've got an appointment this afternoon, we'll, we'll fit you in. And that way there's no chance of you not turning up because you've asked for it, you've remembered it, it's the same day, you will come in. And there's no chance of us making another appointment and finding out that we can't resell the time because you've cancelled or, or you've forgotten. Uh, and occasionally people do get, um, we do ask people, um, you know, we tell them that we're not going to make them any more appointments because um, if they take, if they abuse the uh, privilege of being able to cancel and if they say, like, I'm sorry, you know, I'm ringing on behalf of my husband, he's been called into work and you say, well, I'm sorry, it's too late to cancel um, because we can't resell the time and they say, well, tough, he's been called into work. And then we say, fair enough, that's not the way we work, you need to find another dentist. Uh, it happens, um, it doesn't, it's not so as infrequent as you think and um, I know a lot of dentists work would put up with that but we don't, you know, it's just, um, it's just a courtesy really. So try and treat the dental appointment a bit like a plane ticket, uh, sometimes you can cancel it, sometimes you can't, okay? 
Uh, nice to talk to you and I'll see you next time.